One Piece Nation here today with my review of Boruto so far. It isn't even really a critical video. It's just going to be, be me rambling for a little bit about what I think of the Boruto anime so far. Um, we are currently talking about everything from episode 1 to episode 13. This will be released on the Tuesday before episode 14. So be prepared for that. But uh, yeah, so uh, Boruto so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, you have to understand that the Bur Boruto or Naruto, let's just, let's go to Naruto the whole for a minute. Naruto was my thing. Alright, before One Piece ended, Naruto was my fa favorite theory. And it still, and it still holds, it, it still is very close to One Piece. And I'm inclined to say I may like it just in my thing, One Piece. I like it, maybe I'll do a video, but I have different reasons, but I really relate to the theory. I'm a tumor, so I'm an old school, um, people didn't always treat me the greatest because I have a tumor, and sometimes I get stared at, sometimes people will exclude me from things because I'm different. So I can feel very, uh, I can really connect with Naruto, who really, who values it, I can understand why he values friendship so much. Why be I, why he tried, why he tried so hard to maintain his real friendship, like with Sasuke. Because I, I'm like that too. The idea of losing a, my, one of my really good friends bothers me. It does. Because I don't have many of them. So the ones I do have, I cherish deeply and I would do anything to, and I, and I, I don't know if I would go as far as Naruto, but I would definitely, like, I would definitely be willing to take a bullet for any of my friends. Like, I get it. Alright, I get it. I, I, so I relate to Naruto very much. I felt like his struggle with acceptance and be good. He's not different. He's a Jinchuriki. I have a tumor. I, but the thought of the point is that before I get... Naruto was one of my favorite theories. So a large part of my enjoyment of Boruto comes from the fact that I get to read Naruto every week. But yeah, reading one... This is the thing with One Piece. Alright, One Piece is fun. Alright... One Piece is a really, I love One Piece, but there is a certain thing. It's really big. It's, it's going to be another like 10 years. It's big. There's a lot of characters. And there, there's so much more to explore. And I do videos on it. It's Naruto. It's, I, I, know, I have a very in-depth understanding of the theory. And it's simple. And honestly, it was the first manga I ever read week to week, like hardcore. Like it was what got me in to like the get up everyone. I was reading Naruto for like two years when we got up on Wednesday and read the chapter. Remember when it, some of you may remember this. Manga chapter used to come out on Wednesday. This was a big big thing. So it used to be every Wednesday I would get up, I read the Naruto chapter, and that was a part of my life. And honestly, you have to realize, I was going, I had a really shitty school life then before I started going to the new school I go to. So, honestly, on Wednesday, even when I was catching up to One Piece, it wasn't until Naruto ended that I realized how, that I really started, that I really started taking One Piece seriously. But the point is, is that Naruto, it wasn't until it ended that I realized this was, like, my favorite part of my Wednesday. Like, before anything else, I would read that Nar Naruto chapter. Where it's my it's my Dragon Ball, if you will. It's like, even if I like something more and I think it's better than it, I enjoy Naruto the most because it's the first series that I, re I really invested in. That I was, like, ready to ball, and I cried while, and I really cried while watching. It made me think, and it made me decide the type of anime I like. The point is, is that being able to get up every week and read Nor and, and watch, I guess, Boruto is amazing. Because the Boruto manga came out and I was really excited. Then the Boruto manga was garbage. It looked like shit. It wasn't visually pleasing. Um, like, it just, I wasn't, I didn't feel like I would, re I couldn't reconnect, I couldn't connect. Will the character the same way? Like in the Boruto movie, for example, in that thing where Sakura is uh like watching Naruto carry the old lady, I'm like, 
oh, I, I really connected to that. Because I was like, oh, look, it's like, 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 I was like, remember when Sakura was saying Naruto could never become Hokage? And now she's smiling about the fact that he carry old ladies, that he's having shadow clones, carry old ladies around as Hokage. I'm like, I make, I don't feel like that. I don't think about the original Naruto muck when I read the Boruto manga. It just doesn't trigger it for me, because I don't, because the art is so bad. So then the Boruto anime came around. I know, five minutes of intro. Bad, bad One Piece nation. I don't care. But, this is what happened. Boruto came around in the anime. It was weekly. And I was like, I don't, and I was like, if it had Kishimoto or the, or the anime, or at least the original Studio Pariot and Shippuden art style, I will be the happiest man alive. Because I had been, I had been wanting to watch Naruto and read it on a weekly basis for for instance, it ended. I had missed doing that. When it ended, I would actually get my phone out every Thursday, and I'd be like, Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. And I'd be like, oh yeah, no Naruto. Back to sitting in the study hall during lunch because nobody likes me. <laughs> like, that was, that, that was, so I was depressed a little bit. So, Boruto comes out. I'm watching it every week, and I love it. I love Boruto. Ten out of ten series. Um... Like it's one one thing I think it's doing really well is the introduction of the Boruto character. Because people that watch the anime don't notice, but in the original Naruto manga, like this is this is asking something Naruhina a mistake some Naruhina fans make. And it's nothing you were pairing, this is a mistake I see them making debate. They say he not to have gloved Naruto in chapter one of the manga, and I always laugh at that because my response is, "Bitch, he not to didn't exist until the until the shooting of Dan Dark." I'm like, I'm sorry, he not to cannot love Naruto from chapter one because he doesn't exist. That was the biggest problem. It was like, wait, so this he not the girl? Apparently, this he not the random ass he not the girl we've never seen before loved Naruto. Okay. Who went, okay, the guy tried to talk, he talked to Don. I, where was he in Naruto graduating class? The teacher was there, wasn't there. I mean, in the anime they were, but in the manga they weren't there. Kiba, Hinata, Shino, Shikamaru, you know, Joji just kind of showed up. It was like, oh yeah, you remember that day when the team were assigned? Yeah, they were there. They were totally there. Like, uh, we just, uh, they just weren't, they're just not important enough until now to be mentioned. Yeah, totally. <laughs> God damn it, Kishimoto. <laughs> That's gonna be like a vlog style video, but I mean, God damn it, Kishimoto. <laughs> Alright, then as I was saying, Boruto is doing exceptionally well at introducing the character. He introduces Boruto Starada. Mi I saw snow for a second in the middle of June. <laughs> no, but, um, he entered into the character. Great character. I love these characters. I love them. No idea how much I love these. How much I I don't love them like the original cast, but they're really interesting characters. And the fact that we felt spent like thirteen episodes, ten episodes ish, on just slice of life. Some people don't like it, but I do. Because one, I feel is very important to establish the new generation. Because when we, when Naruto, we didn't give a shit about any of the characters when we started. We, they had to make us care. Now we have a whole cast of characters we all care about. So they need to make sure, like they need to make sure we like this new cast. That we get to know these new cast. Because if we don't like this new Imagine if they started with Boruto going on a mission, and 50% of the viewer base decided Boruto's a shit character, Toronto's a shit character, and Miki's a shit character, and I don't like Kumahamaru. Like, well, then what? You know what I mean? Like, you need to introduce uh, this big cast, get people time to pick favorites, so this way you're like, look, okay, I'm a Stockworth fan, for example. I was very pissed. When Sakura, when we got trolled with Sakura appearing in the preview, and then not speaking. That pissed me off, you can check my review for the episode. That pissed me off so much. I was like, I want to see Sakura! Sakura is awesome! No, but uh, that's not the point. The point is, is that, then, but then, 
Serata is my new, is my favorite of the new gen. I love Serata. Serata is like the best character here. I one of my favorite things about Serata is that like, I have time to pick out small and big things I like about her. The big things are from later on in the guiding and stuff, which I won't get into. But the big thing I love about Serata from this, I like the small thing. I'm the fact that she's very much like Sasuke and her mannerisms. Like, she always has her arm crossed and she's like leaning against walls, like, just like, she's, like, not speaking. She only really talks to every, she doesn't have, and she kind of just, like, she just like, let's go to a nail salon. Serata, Serata doesn't give any input. Serata's just like, okay, well, I'll go to a nail salon with you. Like, she doesn't care. Like, she's just, she's so flat about everything. It's like this very flat kind of humor that I like. I like her relationship with Boruto. I really, I like how she pissed off, I like how she very much treats him of like a mixture of the way. Like, she treats him like in like a mix. She uses the same kind of insult. She insults him in the same manner Sasuke did, but she doesn't have the rivalry stuff. She's not like, you idiot, I could totally do better than you. She's just like, you're an idiot. I mean, if people compare it to Sakura for that, I'm like, go watching Reed Part 1. Not, at least Sakura doesn't literally call Naruto loser for like, every time she addresses him, practically, for like the entirety of Part 1. At least when she has a conversation, she says Naruto. She, she insults him by calling him an idiot, but Sake refers to Naruto throughout pretty much all of Part 1 as a loser, unless they're fighting each other, or it's a very serious moment, but in like day-to-day -day life, loser, loser, you're a loser, you're an idiot, and the thing is, that game means it with more of a T, I, it sometimes he means it like with menace, he wants, with malice, he wants to hurt Naruto, and sometimes he doesn't, but the point is, that both of Stocks are out of parents do this, now granted, I'm sure, and also, um, you have to realize, Serato grew up with Boruto, so to an extent, she probably thinks he's an idiot all the time, because, you know, she's known him for long enough. Hell, Serato probably called the seventh Hokage an idiot behind his back, because her mom probably does. Let's be honest, there's no way Sakura calling Naruto Lord Hokage. Like, she will die before she calls Naruto Lord. Let's be real here, her and Sasuke will never do that. But the point is, is that it spent a lot of time on character growth. Uh, introducing these characters, and I love that. Uh, look, because of those, if it was like the original Naruto, they were just throwing characters at us, and I would not have been able to spend five minutes rambling on how much I love Serata. Like, I made this video as an edit, and it is just me, uh, Bur I'm gonna kind of like Boruto thoughts so far or something. Or let's talk about Boruto so Let's talk about Boruto so far. That's gonna be the title. But, uh, yeah, there's. Another thing I like is that it really is back to part one style and it has a lot of homages. My two favorite homages are, I think I'm, homages, homages, I'm not sure, tell me in the comments. But, um, my two favorite are when, uh, Bird in episode two, when Boruto fights Ko Awabe, I almost said Kawaki. When Boruto fights Awabe and he does the same move. I don't know, cringe there. When he does that same move, stockaded. Against Kakashi, that was. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That was awesome the way Serata threw the Shuriken, broke the transformed, and got him in the back. That was beast. That was also that was my second one, the Serata one. The one where Serata threw the Shuriken and gets him in the back. That was the second one. And, um, yeah, I like, the, I like those. I love the fact that everyone. I love the fact that the old cast is not being emphasized on very much. Like, I, I love, I also love how they do tease us with the old cast, though. Like, in episode 13, when, like, I was a little annoyed when Naruto went PG mode, and he was like, I'll blow it away in one blow. And Kagachi just like, nope, cock tease! <laughs> no, that's pretty much, I was like, I did a little bit there. I was like, oh my god, Naruto gonna get, damn it, Kagachi. No, but I mean, I just think they're doing a really good job at focusing on Boruto. A lot of next generation stories, not just in anime, will do this. We'll just, if you want an example of what not to do when you're doing next generation story, 
and, and you're a Harry Potter fan, read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That is the example of what not to do. <clears throat> that is literally the example of how to ruin a story. Of how to write a really shitty next generation story. Because it brings, it brings in a daughter of the main villain. And it's just it's complete garbage. The point is that Burrito hasn't done anything stupid. All the plot lines from the previous series, they're done. We get a flash forward into the future. The main villain is a completely new antagonist. Naruto is supposedly gone. I hope he's not dead though. I mean, I can see Naruto dying and we get like a third of like an entire episode long funeral. I think that would, I would probably cry the whole time. But let's imagine a whole episode of the, of the previous generation and next generation putting flowers down and remembering the moments they've had with Naruto and you're that Sasuke Sakura and Kakashi at the front. You know, that Sakura and Sasuke up the front, they turn around at the end and they're like, we're gonna kill Kawaki. We're gonna hunt this bastard down and we're gonna rip him apart. He killed our teammate. Or something. And you can see, you see what I mean? Like, Boruto makes me want more. Boruto is good. Every week I come back wanting more. And, and it, but it's also not sticking on one thing so much that we're gonna, we're gonna get bored. Uh, yeah, so I've rambled about Boruto for a while. I do have a video coming out, of, hopefully, on why Boruto is a, is a great, is a, bleh, why Boruto is a great sequel series. The problem with that, it got it blocked worldwide, so I'm waiting on it to get, uh, the copyright to get undone, and then I'm going to, uh, try, um, to figure out what, no, I'm going to, uh, attempt to get that video to do well. But since it got blocked right away, yeah, so definitely, I'm gonna make a video about it when it gets unblocked to tell you guys to go watch it. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, liked the video if you did, blah, 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 guys, have a great day, this is One Piece Nation, signing out, peace.